During the 2011 federal election, only 38% of eligible Canadians between the ages of 18 to 24 put in their votes. But in that same year, Elections.ca released a chart that showed more than 64% of citizens 45 years and older voted. The statistics show that lots of young people are not voting. Harpinder Singh is running for mayor in the city of Cambridge. He explains that this might be because of a disconnect between politicians and younger generations. I think that when a young person talks to a politician, it's, it's almost like talking to a real estate agent. You know that there's something hidden underneath or there's some type of motivation that doesn't involve them. Before television, many politicians would go out and shake people's hands, and this interaction would encourage a young person to get involved. These days, many politicians reach their audience through television ads or online mission statements. And while this may convince a young person about who to vote for, it won't necessarily get them to vote. BCLocalNews.com found that many young people don't vote because they don't believe their vote will change anything or they don't trust the political system. Shelby Doherty, a candidate for Waterloo Ward 3 councillor, suggests that political leaders do more to engage young people by being more accessible. If you are available to individuals and you're easy to access, people are more likely to talk to you and explain to them what's going on, what they see as an issue, and how to fix it. For Spoke TV, I'm Candace Agunde.